In this video I'm going to be building a half bridge converter and then testing it out to see how it performs. First let's take a quick look at how it works. We have two transistors, usually MOSFETs, that turn on and off one at a time to either connect one side of the transformer to VCC or to ground. The other side of the primary of the transformer is AC coupled to either ground or VCC through a capacitor. Assuming that the on time of both transistors is the same, which should always be the case, it means that the voltage on the capacitor will be half of the supply voltage. This means that the voltage on the primary is always half of the supply voltage and alternates between being positive and negative. On the secondary side, we always have rectifiers and then an inductor to smoothen out the current. Usually the secondary of the transformer has a center tap, this way we can only use two diodes and current only flows through one diode at a time. Because I was lazy while winding the transformer, I just made a simple secondary and then we'll use a full bridge rectifier. This has a disadvantage of making current flow through two diodes simultaneously, which creates more losses and lowers the efficiency of the converter. So let's get to building this thing. First thing I did was create the PWM circuit to create the signal for switching. And I'm going to use the TL494 for this. I made another video on how this works and how to use it. So if you want to see that in detail, you can check it out in the upper right corner. I'm going to follow this circuit. And uh, this is to create a PWM that has the duty cycle controlled by a single potentiometer. In this way, the air amplifiers don't do anything. So to disable them, I will tie them to either VREF or ground. We can see that it outputs a nice PWM with 180 degree phase shift. And this is going to connect to our MOSFET driver. The next part of the circuit that I'm going to build is in fact the MOSFET driver. For this I'm going to use the IC UCC27714 I believe it's called and it's made exactly to drive MOSFETs on half bridges. I also made a video on how to use this IC so you can also check that out if you want. Here's the circuit with the two transistors and a 200 nanofarad capacitor tied to ground on one side. If we probe the two sides of the half bridge where the transformer would go we can see that we have our pulse width modulation or square wave or whatever. We can see there's a little bit of ringing because we don't have any load attached to it. So we can fix this by attaching a 22 ohm resistor and we can see that it's a lot better. There's a slight oscillation during the dead time, which is perfectly fine. But obviously we don't want to power a resistor in AC current, but we want to drive a transformer. So the next thing we do is actually wind the transformer. I reused a transformer from a power supply, probably a flyback. Here I wound the primary. It's seven turns and I made it double to keep the resistance lower. After insulating it with tape, just to be sure, I wound the secondary and this is eight turns of the same wire, always double. To be safe, I measured the inductance on both sides. The side with eight turns is about 60 microhenries or something and the side with seven is about 50 and this should be more than fine for the low voltages I'll use in this experiment. If you want to see how I built this tester, you can check out the videos that I'll link in the description. So the next thing I do is connect the transformer to the circuit and we can fire it up and check how it works on the oscilloscope. Here I have the two traces for the primary and the secondary and you can see that they're pretty much identical. There's a slight difference in the voltage but uh, they look pretty much alike. Here I use the same 22 ohm load to connect and disconnect from the secondary and we can see that in fact it does lower slightly the voltage and change the waveform. Naturally, this is a DC to DC converter, so we have to rectify the output voltage. And at first I thought of using one of these rectifiers that you can find, I don't know, anywhere. But they're made for 50 Hz and the diodes in them are really slow for switching. So I quickly built a full bridge converter with four separate diodes like this. And testing it again, looking at the oscilloscope, we can see that in fact the voltage is rectified properly. Here using the potentiometer I can change the duty cycle. And we can see that the voltage does indeed go up and down. Now you can notice that there's quite a bit of noise, more than I'd expect for something like this. And it took me a while to notice that I forgot the output inductor. So the next thing I did was add the inductor. This is about 800 microhenries, I believe. We can see that by adding this inductor, the noise went down a certain amount, even though I was expecting more. But I think some of it is coming from the fact that we're using a breadboard and not a proper PCB. So maybe that's an idea for a future video. 
As a last test, I wanted to add a light bulb as a load instead of the 22 ohm resistor. And this is a headlight from a car. The resistance is about 1 or 2 ohms while it's cold, and then it rises some. With about 20 to 25 volts on the input and slowly ramping up the duty cycle, we can see that the light turns on. It's definitely not full brightness because the output is between 5 and 10 volts and the light bulb needs 12. Looking at the input current, we can see that it's definitely higher than half an amp, probably getting close to 1. So this is about it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.